this is a short clip from a longer conversation that I had with Leslie Keith. She's uh, the author of a book that was just released September 28th, uh, 2021, uh, called The Lymphatic Code. So hope you enjoy. And if you want to see the whole uh, full conversation that we had uh, about lymphedema and the keto diet, and lipedema and many, many other things. There'll be a link at the end of this video. Enjoy. Uh, can, you, can you give a short synopsis or a short description of how, um, how does the keto way of eating improve lymphatic yes. function? Yes, because that's what I was saying when I wrote my first book, which was the ketogenic solution for lymphatic disorders that was really focused on just losing weight and thus having a, a favorable impact on your lymphatic system and your, and your lymphatic disorder. But the second book, The Lymphatic Code, I'm really looking at um, the, the lymphatic system in general, all the things that we know about it, because it's been very uh, ignored for mm -hmm. a long time. And so all the, and the new things that we're learning about it and, and the impact that diet has on the lymphatic system. And so a very short synopsis, because this book is, is really directed towards the lay, lay person, whereas the first book was directed toward the healthcare professional, but mm -hmm. lay people are reading both. Um, but in, what I do is make a case in the book that carbohydrates are inflammatory to the lymphatic system. And this has been demonstrated in some, uh, some very good uh, studies. And then how fat is actually fuels the lymphatic system. It helps us generate new lymphatic vessels. It helps increase transport capacity. So you have drainage and movement um, uh, so much uh, better. So, uh, so this way of eating, I do feel, is the best for your lymphatic system. And if you have a healthy lymphatic system, you have a healthy life and you definitely improve your health in all sorts of ways. I do talk in the book about all the different types of chronic illnesses that, um, mm -hmm. that plague people in kind of modern chronic illnesses, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, um, autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. And I talk about the lymphatics involvement in each of those conditions and mm -hmm. how a ketogenic diet is going to improve not only the function of the lymphatics, but help improve that condition. So uh, it's, I, I do think that people will be fascinated like you were with the book. I think it'll mm -hmm. hopefully help a lot of people. I, I think so. And, and, and that part that you just mentioned there, like, so, so working with lymphedema, I, I knew that the lymphatic system is important, obviously, but, and, but there was a lot focused on swelling, uh, mm -hmm. chronic swelling that comes with lymphedema. But but it was, yeah, there were a lot of eye openers in there and what else the lymphatic system actually does and what it affects. And I do think that a lot of the, uh, a lot of the things you have in there are new enough that when I took my lymphedema training, we didn't know these things. Mm -hmm. so, so it is exciting that even though the lymphatic system has been ignored for many decades, it's also exciting to see the amount of research that's going on right now about the lymphatics. Uh, and a lot of that, uh, I feel like it's compiled in, in this book in, a, in an easy to view way, but just, just the impact it has on so many. And when you look at the list of things that it impacts, the list matches the things that we see on a daily basis. Right. The problem- Because our patients are get, not just, they're not just coming in just with lymphedema. They have right. all kinds of other conditions. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I feel like this, this description of the lymphatic system and lymphedema fits reality better than the lymphedema training I got 15, 20 years ago. Uh, that was a lot focused on surgery where lymph nodes were removed. And then I came into reality and saw some of those, but majority of my patients did not have lymphedema because of surgery. They had it because of chronic illnesses. Um, so it, I feel like it matches reality a lot more. So I think for people that read it too, they're gonna recognize that, yeah, this. This may be part of the explanation of, of why I'm sick, that it has mm -hmm. a lot to do with the lymphatic system. Mm -hmm.